Okay, in this problem, James had five and five, sorry, four and five twelfths feet of rope, and uh, for his lasso, sure, he cut off one fourth feet of it to use for a science project. How many feet of rope does he have for his lasso now? Okay, so we are going to subtract one fourth from this amount. Okay, one thing we can do with this, if I model it in this way. I made four columns with three rows, okay? Which got me 12, right? And I had one, two, three, four holes, and then five uh, 12 here. Well, think about it like this. If I wanted a fourth of this in full amount, right? If I wanted a fourth of it, that would be one fourth. That would be a fourth, right? That would be one fourth, and that would be one fourth. Okay, so if I wanted to subtract a whole fourth of this, that would be a fourth right there, and I could subtract that amount, which leaves me with one, two, three, four holes and two twelfths, right? And I could simplify two twelfths divided by two, top and bottom, and that will get me four holes and one six. Okay, let's just, uh, some of you might be a little curious, like whoa, 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 whoa. What, what about finding the common denominator and then subtracting? Well, we, we could do it that way. I'm gonna prove to you that you could do it that way and solve it and it would be the same answer. So let's do that. Let's do four and five twelfths minus one fourth. And I know that four times three gets me 12, right? So let me do that to the top as well. One times three is uh, three, so three twelfths. And if you look here, didn't I subtract three twelfths right here? Yeah, that's, that's what that is. A fourth is three twelfths. So let's take the four and five twelfths minus three twelfths, and that's gonna get me four holes, and five minus three is two, two twelfths. And as we proved earlier, two twelfths is the same thing as one sixth, so it's four and one-sixth.